Greetings and welcome to Board Me Up, where I hunt out the latest in board game releases so you don't have to. And yeah, it's been a little while, but it's some slow times right now here on Kickstarter and the board gaming release world and tabletop world, which is a nice thing as we can catch up and uh, save up some funds and spend them elsewhere if we need to. And yes, the purpose of this these videos is to, to save you that time, to save you the time in searching out what's the latest and being released so you can see all of it here wherever you are so you don't have to head over to Kickstarter yourself and do that um, unless you find something in detail that you like and plus it saves my time as well as I don't want to keep you here uh, too long and which is a nice thing because I can make my decisions quicker on uh, where to spend my funds so uh, let's get started here um, let me see just checking everything looks like we're we're going right I think so. Okay, so starting out, uh, I wanted to mention first of all that there's a game for people with children, uh, a first, a game for six-year-olds and up for deck building. So I'm not going to be putting this into my uh, list here, but uh, just a quick mention for, for you guys out there that have children and uh, want to introduce them to games and deck building. So there you have it. All right, the first thing on our official uh, tabs here is this uh, 3d printing um barca the grove warden let's check it out real quick they haven't hit their goal yet it's 400 hundred dollar goal that thumbnail image looks awesome this looks pretty cool but uh where's okay so there's the whole model and what is he some kind of uh some kind of tree folk or tree spirit looking guy 6.7 inches Okay, so that's the model below. Cool, cool. How much is it going for? Let's see. Early bird, $17. All STLs. All right, well, let's, let's see what else is here. That's a pretty cool model. All right, uh, next to one that's 1 1.6 inches. Yeah, so that's a whole big figure. All righty. All with supports ready. Let's take a look at that again. All right. And there's the actual 3D print. Uh, looks pretty cool. All right. I like the tail edition. I don't think there's no, there, there's just not enough humanoid uh, creatures out there with tails. Okay. I'll be closing, closing this one out. Good luck on that. Next is Paladin Card Protectors and Accessories Season 5. So they're card protectors, card sleeves. Um... I just, uh, I think I just want to save this one on to the side for myself. So we will take a look at this one, I think, uh, again later. Whoa, this is a weird setup. Okay, all right. So what am I looking at? So what is all this stuff? Resource box, medieval coins. Okay, so add-ons. Um, this is something I'm just interested in possibly getting in the future. Uh, so I'll be watching this. Let me check if there's any early birds for you guys doesn't look like it so i can't decide now let's see 50 dollars free shipping 25 packs of pellet and card protectors yeah it's something uh i'll reconsider at the end here right now i'm yeah i'll check out the video right later too realistic high quality resource box so right now i'm not sure if i need cards for anything um or if i'd like any but again i'll i'll reconsider this at the end and it does have uh 20 uh 10 days to go so i'll be back in 10 days and next is uh barking just checking here about barking spiders to the search for more money barking spiders is like phase 10 or gin rummy if it were extruded through two brothers perfectly understandable obsession with poo do i know what i just read I'm not sure about that, but uh, here's what it looks like. Looks like there's uh, tokens, cards, box. And let's see. Okay, there's a nice picture of people playing. Okay, uh, let me take a look at that again. Barking spiders too. Well, you know what? Let's take a, let's Google barking spiders real quick just to see what that's all about. Barking spiders or primitive spiders. Okay, there's actually a species called or a group called barking spiders. I didn't know that. Just when I thought I knew so much about animals. Okay, and uh, game. Let's see. 
We can check out the rating. Let's see if there's a Barking Spiders game. Yes, it's on Board Game Geek. And it has a rating. It doesn't have a rating. It's not on there. Uh, okay. So what is this? I don't know. Let's get out of here. So there's that. Um, should I be saving that? I don't know. It hasn't intrigued me enough. Drawing. And if it hasn't caught me in the quick uh, attention span here, it's not going to catch a lot of people. Remember, I'm trying to get through these fast, but I'm definitely not going through them fast compared to the average person that's skimming through projects. So the, these words have to really speak to you in order for this to, to really sell to you. One hour of a game. That seems long for uh, what this looks like. Um, I'm going to close it out. Good luck on that. It's the first created. Before I close it out, I'm just going to skim through the video, give them one last chance. And for you guys to take a look, so there's no audio. Okay, I'm out of here. Good luck. Next is Alhambra, big box, second edition. Um, so Alhambra, I don't know much of this game. So let's take a look at uh, of the Zig game on Kickstarter uh, on Board Game Geek. Let's take a look at the rating, and it's got a rating of 7.0, two to six players. Uh. Not a very heavy game, so nice. Um, and that's the big box. It's, yeah, well, I'm going to, let's see, it's got a 7 rating. And do they have an expansion for solo? I'm not seeing anything real quick. Uh, should I keep this one open? It is a second run for them, so mm, on this project. Not a second run, but I mean a second edition. 60 created games. Okay, these guys aren't new. Do they have any? Notable games. Let me see. Who are these guys? They're called Queen Games. Is that Utah that they're from? All right. Let's see. So they did do a Lombra Roll and Write before. It had 900 backers. Escape uh, Roll and Write. Let's see. Winter Kingdom. Rune Stones. Okay. Um, Rune Stones. Right. I remember seeing that. An Escape. Uh, Merlin. Hmm. Escape. Okay. And... Let's see, anything else? Um, not really that sticking out. That doesn't look like 60. Or is that 60? That doesn't look like 60 projects. It says 60 created. That did not look like 60 unless I missed another page. I'm going to double check that. I'm curious now. Because that's a lot of games. 60. Or 60 projects to produce. And Kickstarter is going to showcase everything. You can't hide stuff on, on Kickstarter. Now it's not loading. See, something's up. <laughs> all right let's see here hope everybody's having a good time out there i know i didn't make a daily video for a couple of days or three days actually but uh like i said things are things are kind of slow on kickstarter right now so and on the channel i mean it's a slow channel i got another channel running so i'm not gonna uh spend too much time on here especially when it's not necessary but uh these are things that i do regularly yeah there is a second page and so that's why i started the channel in the first place but um if we get more views i will you know do that uh, next daily video even if it's a little slow i'll still uh, upload i just want to make sure that uh, you know the, the videos are appreciated okay so alhambra i don't think i'm going to save this one uh if you like the game do check it out uh, it's alhambra big box second edition so for it's for you guys out there um 80 dollars for this second edition big box revised what if you already have it not sure but there you have it let's move along and it's a two-player game yeah not interested personally good luck with that let's see what else they've uh kansas pacific what else they launched orcs 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 oh, that's a great title and neptune let's see everything alhambra big box special edition they already did a big box but this is a second edition okay S escape zombie city digital let's see anything else that stands out to me 60 projects nope that's it so a lot of these smaller games so it looks like just uh yeah i don't know not gonna judge out of here next one ugly griffin in oh i shouldn't have closed that alhambra oh but i already saved it okay so ugly griffin in uh manage the plain, painfully particular peculiar patrons in the second game in our simply solo series you see 
Simply and Solo sounds great to me. <laughs> I don't have anything from the Simply Solo series, but those two words work. One player only, light on rules. Okay, let's take a look here. Card game uh, looks like a roleplay style game. It kind of looks cool with dialogue. I wonder if it's a game that I actually laid back on the couch and play, you know, where you don't need the little table. You can just kind of set up the cards easily on you uh, on the couch next to you. I'm kind of curious in a game like that or interested. Okay, I'll check this one out as it got me a little intrigued. It already funded really well. Uh, let me see if there's an early bird for anybody to lose out. Nope. So if you are interested in a lighter, looks like a deck builder or card game, uh, solo, check it out. And we'll be seeing it in about nine days. Okay, next is the Battle of Armageddon. Two to six player apocalyptic game depicting the world's armies in the final battle for control of Earth. So it's a human versus human. Um... Let's see here, two to six players, 14 and up. Average time to play, two to four hours. So they're not messing around with the time here. This is a, this is a full battle game, two to four hours. N not any, no great images here, really. Um, some card pictures, a grid picture, and that's it. Oh, goodness. Mm, 19 created, uh, compass games figure by now you'd have more experience no that's very amateurish video especially for nine cre 19 creative but you have a following you have a low goal amount so you'll make it i'm sure it is an actual game and you got your your uh, background so um yeah check it out if you're interested in an apocalyptic game like that i'll probably be closing that out um i think so yeah not in my area of interest so that's where i want to be more picky as i do save a lot of these tabs okay next is monster monster description cards for writers storytellers and gms i just wanted to see what this is all about and how they work because uh it sounds really kind of cool last time let's see where's a uh sample of the card let's see fatty growths exoskeletons um Slash piercing, piercing crimson and feral beast. Last stand, surely this creature must be near its end. Hmm. How does it work then? Let's see. Any more gifts or something? Okay, here's a nice layout. Tentacles, horns, claws, combat forms. That's pretty cool. So it has it divided into uh, body parts and stuff like that. And then you can uh, get your ideas off there as you're building your monster or uh, working with one that's already there and expanding on it. Keywords, cool. Need that. Piercing comet depictions, too much to avoid. Horn tip. Uh, with a quick tuck of the chin, the horn of the beast beneath your guard and a merciless series of upward thrusts. That's pretty cool. It's a little bit like, you know, uh, board games and Kingdom Death. You know, it has a description of what happens. But, uh, you know, D&D's kind of, it's free-for-all, but this gives you a little bit of an outline. I like it. Um, cool little resource for D&D &D people. I'll be keeping an eye on this one. We'll check on it in 28 days. It's already at 10,000. It hit its goal. Um, any early birds? Nope. Let's move along. Let's uh, see if we have any more actual board games. Well, this is not. Or is it? Old Gamers Workshop. I thought it said Old Games Workshop. Oh, goodness. Old Gamers Workshop Horror Pick Mix 2020. What is it? Um, okay, this uh, STL looks like a low-res uh, model for your average 3D printer. Okay, and that's pretty cool. What is that? Looks like a war bear with four arms. I'm all right with that. Moose Hunter Guy. And, all right, interesting, interesting little homemade product. This is what the, 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 the base of Kickstarter right here. And this is the, the whole purpose of Kickstarter. Pages like this. Seven created. Good luck with this one. Uh, let's close this one out. Next is a Dragonkin 28 millimeter scale metal miniatures. Nice. These look pretty cool. Uh, Dragonkin. 
dragon kin, dragon kin. Cool, you can build your own dragon kin army. 28 millimeter, so that'll go well with everything. They actually look really, really nice in metal because of the textured, uh, um, because of the textured uh, scales and all that. They look really good, but how do they go from, um, a digital sculpt to metal? Oh, I guess they 3D printed a, yeah, a test model and then, uh, molded in metal. Pretty cool. Actually, that's a cool idea. I didn't really think about that. Right on. Uh, keep it going. Good luck with that. And well done. You got your goal. All right. Next was Into the Terry of Dragon, Territory of Dragons. So this is an art book. Um, I saw this a little while ago. It has 22 days to go. It's a 140-page hardcover illustrated book. That's a lot of that's a decent amount of pages, 140. So a lot of dragon concept art in here and just imagery. Um, a beautiful uh, coffee table type book. And that's that. You'd have to watch the video for more. I'll, I'll double check on it uh, at the end. So we'll we'll take a look at this one in about 20, 21 days when it's uh, near ending. And we'll take a look at uh, where funding hits then and we'll watch the video then too. It's at 14,000 out of 6, so it's definitely a success. Next is Elements of the Gods. It's uh, one of the games in my last video that I talked about that I was probably the most uh, interested in. Uh, that is, has ended. And let me see if I need to save this my solo games of 2020 real quick. Is this a solo game? Does it have solo, solo cards? Okay, it says solo cards. Yes, it is. It's one to five players. Look pretty decent. Um... Surprised they didn't fund more than $24,000, to be honest. But uh, let's save it. Solo games, done. Let's close this one out. Next, uh, and they'll, they'll probably have a late pledge open, so uh, keep an eye out for that if you're interested. Next is King of the Roll. That also ended. That's a jiu-jitsu style uh, card and, well, dice game. You know what? If I'd still be in jiu-jitsu and... Um, and is in, in tune with it and uh, and had a friend, <laughs> I would get this. It, it does have a solo mode. Um, but yeah, I, I'd have to be in the theme uh, myself to be more interested, more so than enough to, to you know, justify uh, me getting this uh, compared to uh, all the projects, all the comparatively with all the other projects I have gotten and uh, refused to get. So, I would get this if I'd be into jiu-jitsu, and especially if I had a friend to play with, uh, for sure. It does look cool. So, shout out to uh, King of the Roll. Congratulations. Raised, uh, got hit your funding goal. Well done. Well done. Next is RPG mini mounts. Uh, so, these are little mounts that you can put your, I think, miniatures on. So, different mounts that you can use in your RPG games with miniatures, which is cool. Um... It's a cool thought. They're they're two D kind of uh, miniature token uh, plastic tokens. Looks like you have uh, elephant there. Yeah, everything's from Top View, which is really cool. It's very practical. Um, again, I really like this idea. That's why I saved it to look at. It's very simple, but it's very practical, and it's probably very affordable. Thirty five pieces for twenty five bucks. Mm, that's uh, that's okay. That's okay. Um, yeah, thirty-five pieces is a lot. It's it's decent. Yeah, twenty-five bucks. That's that's good. That's a good number. And they did fund ten thousand dollars out of one thousand. I'm surprised it, surprised that not more has funded. But really cool project. Um, if you play a lot, very cool. Um, even for kids, what a cool idea. Because I mean, I played uh, when I was a kid. I played with uh, miniatures as toys, right? And not just with the rules. I played them as toys. I made created my own stories and. A, these would be great for that. I wonder how big they get. Okay, closing that one out. Next is Rapture, a 32mm skirmish tabletop game. Uh, pretty cool models here, pretty cool miniatures. It seems their main selling point one is, that one's pretty cool too actually, but this guy, at least for me, he's a really cool miniature. I wish they had, well I don't wish because I'm not planning on getting it, but it is two players or more. Um, it is a skirmish game, so it's kind of, you know, it's going to have a lot of rules and moving around um, wherever you want, free for all. So I'm not seeing like that many other, oh, that turtle's cool. I want a bigger picture of that. 
Like, they, they look all right, you know, but this guy looks really cool. If you compare him with all the other ones, I mean, he's really good. And if you make one good miniature really good, you should compete and compare the rest of your production with that, you know? Always set yourself high like that. Don't have one great looking thing. And I'm not saying they do, but I'm just saying as an example, don't have one gorgeous thing or two and the rest kind of plain. You know, follow up with that to make sure even your plain peons you pose them right and you give them the right detail make them interesting um that big guy is uh pretty cool the theme's kind of boring but it's uh but, but it is what it is i mean that's a, a a theme that could be out there and you you often see in sci-fi so i'm cool with it it's just maybe personally I, I find that one a little bit dry and that's fine i mean i love my tyrant but this one's totally opposite <laughs> i feel like they're pretty different um uh, more organic um this guy, yeah, these guys actually, they all look pretty awesome. So I take it back a little bit. Um, I'm not sure what those things are. She looks uh, pretty cool. It's the paint scheme too. The whole, the whole blue skin, you know, blue skin looks great. Well, let's admit it. Um, especially in this case. Uh, that turtle is pretty cool. He's ready for action. That's pretty wild actually. putting Because he kind of looks like an alligator snapping turtle. All those, this looks like ocean-based stuff with Lannis. So that wouldn't, that wouldn't work, but uh, anyway, a, a alligator snapping turtle or a snapping turtle with guns and claws, uh, hell yeah, that's <laughs> that's a pretty awesome idea. This guy's on top of this crack in the head. Is he part of it? Is he controlling it? Have they merged? Not sure. Interesting, though, and that is sci-fi, right? So could be. And those two guys on the left and right, they are they are awesome. I love this guy. But I really love this guy, too, as your regular kind of warrior. I, I love a regular kind of quick running, like, like kind of it reminds me of Native American uh, warriors because they're like, I like that in miniature form. They're kind of lighter armored and just, uh, they just look, it, it looks like it's a warrior I'd want to be, you know, just running around, chopping heads, uh, whatever. Um, so they look quite different in their ways. He looks more like a tank. He looks more like a big leader guy, right? Uh, but yeah, those two are really cool. I think I went on a little too long maybe on that, but, uh, love miniatures. And if you, if you love miniatures, this is the place for you. And just let me know. So I will keep going on and go off on in depth on miniatures. I think you already know that since I always check out the STLs people release. So anyway, that's out. They'll probably have a late pledge. You can follow along, check it out. It's a 32 millimeter skirmish tabletop game called Rapture on Kickstarter. I'm closing this one out since the funding's done they did raise 46,000 uh euros doubling their goal all right heroes of heartland we won't be digging deeper into this is our first game oh no uh, never mind um well our first game that's actually not done funded yet it has 19 hours to go but it isn't going to fund um it's not near it's not even halfway so it's their first release a first time on kickstarter so good luck on that not a bad first uh first launch honestly uh, a lot better than a lot of first uh launch kickstarters it's uh let's see it did get 47 backers it's twenty two thousand dollar goal it's realistic it's two players i don't know i don't know what the weak point here is so i'm not going to talk about it but uh, good luck uh on the relaunch i'm sure they're going to relaunch a lot of really nice art put into it um that guy these guys i simply love i love there's something about simplistic monsters that do it for me and i love monsters of many kinds but those yeah all right moving out close that one out well should i close that one out yeah that's uh good luck on the relaunch if you're gonna do so you should immersive battle maps uh battle atlas this is from the same creator or creators of these battle map this battle map book that did really well almost a million dollars funded they're almost done in 24 hours, so they'll be done by the time uh, I make the next video. Um, they raised 340000 honestly, and somebody else said that. If they change the thumbnail, um, make it more obvious who they are, uh, and put a damn battle atlas in their image, like, so you can see it clearly, I think they honestly would have gotten more, even more funding. So, meh. But, uh... Their atlases, it's not like a book. You pull these out and open them up. So, unlike their book. 
Let's close that one out. And next is Factions Battlegrounds, ending in 41 hours. This is, let's check out this one because it says uh, no decks, no luck, just your choices. Am I still, uh, am I still live here? Uh, I think so. I think so. Yeah, and, and if you if you do watch these, do do leave a thumb up. Um, you know why? Because at least I know if somebody actually watched this and it didn't get a view just uh, by, by a skim view, but actually somebody watched this. So that'll definitely inspire me or motivate me to make the next video sooner. Um, but yeah, yeah, do the thumb thing at least until I get a little bigger to know that we actually have view, actual viewers. Uh, that'll help. Um, factions, battlegrounds, no decks. No luck, just your choices. Command factions representing cultures from around the world in this fantasy combat board game. I like that. No decks. Okay. No luck. Even better. Well, I don't know. I don't care decks or no decks, but uh, mm -hmm. no luck, just your choices. That really intrigued me. Your troops. Your something. Sorry, this is still up. Your rogues. Your warriors. Your horrors, okay. Two to four player, fantasy combat. First created. <laughs> yeah, it did come a long way. Well done. You know, you guys just look cool. You guys just look cool, and it looks like a total passion and thoughtful project. Congratulations. Um, $22,000 out of 8000 on a first one. Really well done. I think that tagline, you, you thought of that very well. People like to hear no luck. That's uh, a complaint you get a lot with uh, tabletop games. Is It's too much luck in some games, so uh, the more you can avoid that, the better. What? How does that run? That's pretty cool. Um, solo mode, maybe I'd be a little more interested. Combat for two. There, I don't play much with two, and the other person's not interested in those kind of games. So personally, not me, but uh, if you guys are interested, do check it out. This is Factions Battlegrounds. Should be done by next video, but I think I'll leave that this one up just to give it one last shout out on that video. The world game. All right, so this one has 40 hours to 41 hours to go as well. 23,000 funded out of nine. Let me just see what this experience is all about. a new geography board game. The world game, fun and fast playing. All right, game okay, so this is kind of an educational Explore game. Countries, flags, I mean, many are and capital cities, Each turn even if they don't aim to be specifically your with one of the five facts. Or cool. yeah, facts based uh, world game. This one, again, for schools, great. Especially when you have uh, some time off with your classes, but you still have to have a, run a class. These kind of games are great. Unfortunately, most people are homeschooling now. But hey, you can play this. If you could get a digital version of this, awesome. Play with your students and stuff like that. But anyway, with family, you know, stuff like this I would get. If I had more than like one kid... I don't have any, but if I did, I would get something like this uh, for sure. Uh, first created, I'd, I'd like to learn stuff anyway, but as an adult, you just don't run into things other than your specific area of uh, interest, you know, um, as you get older. First created, well done, guys. Next, moving on, check it out if you're interested. Uh, so this one is Clash of Armies, medieval deck building, two-player, 30-minute minimum. All right, so two-minute combat. Age. Not a for me, but it, not currently. In I'm into it. Memory. I just need somebody else near me to be into it. Heroes, monarch. Let's see what it looks Builder. like. Where strategy and intelligence in card each planting to build while you consider the attack. Cool. Reminds me of Gwent a little bit in the Witcher <laughs> game, in the video game where you play the tabletop game of Gwent at the tavern. I played that a bit in the last Witcher, and they actually made a physical copy of that game of Gwent um so yeah I wonder how well that compares with the other games it's yeah okay check it out if you're interested you got two people at least to play with or one other person to play with and it's a medieval deck building game 
All right, let's move along. That's ending in 47 and aiding, ending in 48 hours in Nemo's War. Nemo's, Nemo's War journeys and expansion. Nemo's War has a good um, rating, I believe. Yeah, 8.0. It's talked about. Uh, it's 1 to 4. Damn. Is it on my list of uh, single players? I don't think it is. Uh, nonetheless, uh, if it's a game I don't have yet, I'd like to first get it without expansion, see how much I like it before going all in, unless it's like, you know, rated really high for solo and everybody's loving it. That's the only time I kind of get it all, all in with expansions as well. So if you're interested, if you do own Nemo's War, do check this one out. Do get it. Um, funding is okay. I thought it would be higher for something like this. I mean, I have heard of it. Uh, maybe it's not that big. I've just heard of it on, you know, YouTube channels. And they talk about all kinds of big games, big and small. Uh, I will look into this. I will search through my list of uh, how much, if Nemo's War is even on my main list of games I want to get. Uh, pr primarily solo. And then I'll reconsider this one. But if you're interested, check it out. Uh, let's see. Copy of Nemo's War and Expansion. So only the expansion is for 29 bucks, And I think everything with the original game is uh, $89. Just a bit. Um, but you're going to get, you know, a lot of stuff. Uh, let's check out the video real quick. Let's Clever see. hands had spared no expense to amass okay. every natural Let's and keep... artistic treasure. Displaying them with the helter-skelter picturesqueness that distinguishes a painter's studio. The newest technologies. Through. You've been an adventurer and a humanist. Yeah, it looks like a good yeah. game. The, the uh, it really does. Uh, How will the world... For sure. Okay. Uh, still a lot of games I need to check out, though, so can't be jumping in to everything. All right, let's take a look here. Transcontinental, uh, 48 hours to go. This one looked good. This one looked really good, especially for a first run. This one looks amazing. Um, It looks really good. Let me see. Compared to Nemo's War, uh, okay, that has 5,000, quite a bit more backers, but this one has a good amount, less than 2,000. Let me watch this video real quick. It's a tough life out beyond the railway. I'm just liking coming, the whole design and a everything here. Who are ready. Sinking really well and selling really well. Through the wild Skip and the vast prairies and then the brutal Skip and Laura. Um, check out Laura on your own time if you're interested, but I usually skip the Laura in these videos. On the back of this mighty iron railway. Unless I'm really this interested. The Transcontinental is a mm -hmm. worker placement pick up and deliver that. game for one to four players it's with beautiful setup. mechanics and rich player interaction. A lot of cards. Each round begins with a telegram phase. In player turn order, hmm. players place telegram markers on the track. So you have to During set the all this up phase, first, it looks like it doesn't come down as you play. Telegram marker. On an action turn, players can take one of the actions on each adjacent tile. Most of the actions involve loading and unloading resources from the train. Cool. On this turn, Blue acquires a resource on one side of the track, then develops to complete it on the other side, earning VPs and the ability to produce with this development on later turns. Next, Yellow lost out on this lumber mill, but can adapt their plan, first portaging a single resource ahead into the wilderness to an even better lumber mill and then placing a bonus telegram to set up additional actions later in the round. Each turn, a player can also play a one-time use ally card for an even more resources, yet. Players have a chance to place any telegrams not placed in the new Looks like a good game. No other. I wish it had more backers, because I think if it had the, the right number to get the, the ratings and things into Board Game Geek, the website, uh, this one could get very big and be a an exploding gem. Um, very well done on Transcontinental on the video. Everything from the video, the the show. You see the see this is the first created project, but look, it's successful, and I I believe it should be more. But the thing they did right, in my opinion, is look first thing you see. Sometimes you can see a little text first, but you see the whole game layout, and it looks great. And that's what you want to do. Uh, don't put that somewhere near the bottom. Uh, 75 minutes, so it's a, it's a long playthrough. 
Um, this looks, this looks fun. Uh, this looks, oh goodness. You can hear my voice getting unsteady and emotional. <laughs> Which is not good. It's not good for the wallet. Uh, okay, let's see. How much is it? It's 53 bucks. That's not bad at all. One copy, transcontinental, two boards. Damn, this is, it's a nice game. It's a nice game, but I have so many. Uh, it has to really, really grab me. It has to be in my theme, in my everything to really hit me nowadays. I, I'm trying to be a hard buyer. So it's nothing against you, creator or creators of this game. Um, I'm going to watch these videos, to be honest. I'm going to check out this uh, preview. Uh, are there any reviews? There's previews, but I want to see a review. Hopefully they uh, give their conclusion at the end. I'm going to watch those after. I rec really recommend uh, you do check out this game. It looks like a quality game. I, I like how it plays, uh, just going down the, the timeline and, and movement there. Awesome. Okay, next is also in the 48 hours. So let's see how much further we're going to be going. I think uh, we'll be drawing it to a close here soon. If there's 57... Okay, let's speed up here. Well, unless it's good, right? Mission Catastrophe 1 to 6 players. Let's take a look at that. Um, State the nature of damage. Fun little sci-fi game. Androids are smashing the ship to pieces. Ship modules are losing power. And being exposed... Right, so each crew member should get their hands on food rations. Only one functioning escape cool. pod. You Wait, see, like, what? this theme would catch me more than this theme with the train but this game is attracting me much more than this one i mean it just seems they're different games right this one seems more simple quicker paced obviously since the other one takes over an hour at least um but yeah maybe it's just at the moment of what i'm looking for or whatever uh so that's what i'm saying if you know if everything hits in that's when i'll be back yeah, not too, too interested in this one. I think I'll give it a little bit more time on the side to reconsider. Um, it did fun. Congratulations. It's the second created one. I wonder if it's a relaunch. But no matter. $54 to back it. Check it out if you're interested. It is solo mode to more. I will be saving it uh, as well in my solo games. Next is Comfort Creatures, one to five players. This is a, a good game. I saw a review of this one. Um... But it is uh, maybe a little lighter. It's a good game for for a family uh, and to introduce people into heavier games of uh, I don't know if it's worker placement or or what what exactly um, in depth there. So if you're interested in something a little lighter and introducing people to uh, more advanced concepts in the in the tabletop in the board game, do get this one. I would definitely get it if I had a. A family, a larger family. Moving onward, uh, ending in 57 hours. I think this will be the last one. This is 60 hours. Yeah, we'll leave this for later, some gnomes. Um, this just looks like Legos. They're not Legos, but they're uh, build-it-yourself little uh, dice towers. And uh, yeah, I'll, not something I'll be getting. Just wanted to shout it out and check it out if you're interested. Uh, we'll check it out. Actually, I funded less than I thought. Only 35000 I thought something like this would at least do a couple hundred thousand surprising anyway check it out uh, next time or tomorrow whenever i do this next video please if you enjoy these do um well if you watch these if i do get the views if i get uh, let's say 15 views by tomorrow maybe i'll then i will do a next video nonetheless do leave a thumbs up or down so that i know you watch but uh, if down then i just i'll just think you'll never return if you leave it up then i'll know that you watch the video and you want to watch them uh, that the thumb up just means it's like a real view to me, you know, at this point. So thanks for watching and uh, have a great day. I still don't have a good tagline. That'll maybe be at a thousand subscribers <laughs> uh, at going out. So I'm not sure. Um, have a good one and I'll see you guys soon. Happy kickstarting if you are.